But what if you did lose power? What if you, you know, don't have any? Is there a way that you can actually get power to some needed things like an iPad or a cell phone? Katie Linendahl. How about that? She's here with us today to talk about that. You've got, I know you've got gadgets for this. It's great I, seeing I you. Prepared. I prepared. I brought a Yeti backpack full of gadgets just for you, Cantori. <laughs> I know you did. I, I know you're not going to disappoint her. Oh, it's great to be back. What do you when mean? I'm in New England. You know this. The Cantori was here. It was uh -oh. like game over. Goes. We knew things were about to get real, real quick. And they did, didn't they? they so did. so it yeah. delivered. But you know what? Uh, so Tom Brady stole my thunder yesterday. Yeah. Right? And imagine that. He stole my thunder yesterday. Yeah. Anyway, what do you got for us? All right, let's hook you up with some gadgets because we talked about I'm over 100,000 without power yesterday. Right, down, so. down just below 60 now. Some of these guys going on 20 hours. So Tom. there's no charging your phone. There's no charging your iPad. Nothing. And here's my solution. This is one of my go-to gadgets. I can't tell you how many of these I've purchased. These are a portable power station, and what's really unique that about little this, thing? this little thing actually has 99 hours of battery life in it, and you can oh, see all, all the, the different ports. connections, all the different yeah. ports from AC to USB, and what's great about it is if you do run into that. a situation where you don't have a generator, per se, you have hours inside here that'll keep you hooked up, and it may be a little bit of an investment. You're looking at about three, $400 starting at, right. but the great part about it is you can actually have this for home office. I'm always plugging in multiple gadgets throughout the day, so it's not just about for Precarious situations like winter storms, it is good for year round. Think about what we tell everybody, you know, with the ventilation of their generator, right? Mm -hmm. And we don't want people doing that. This you charge before the yep. storm, and there's no carbon monoxide. Nope. 99 hours, depending on how many gadgets you can plug into it. And you can go from a small TV to a small refrigerator, too. So really? It's covered. Absolutely. Got you covered all the way around with this thing. Um, where do you get it? <laughs> this, there's a number of different options. Look up portable power uh, chargers. Portable power. This one is from EcoFlow. It is called The River. This has been one of my go-tos for years. I can't tell you how many I've purchased for these for friends as gifts. Holy cow. Okay, this is awesome. Um, let's say you're inside. You lose power. You don't have anything. What are you going to do? How are you going to get your information? From, well, for what's another, going on. This is kind of a low end option. Let's like change gears and go like under $40. Okay. Option. Yeah. I say that this is great for inside home, but also in the car. This is talk about low tech. We're talking about high tech, but take it down. This a one notch. just takes a little, uh, yeah. little grinding. <laughs> this you can actually charge, but it also has a hand crank option in case, heaven forbid, you do run out of power. You can actually generate your own power with the hand crank. Built in flashlight, no radio inside here. Going to keep you hooked up, and also you can charge your gadgets with it. So, yeah, I was going to say, you can actually crank it and, and charge yes. your phone a little bit. Even if it's just, hey, I got to make one call, I got zero power, hey, let me just crank this for five minutes, Not that and I'm going right. to be able That's awesome. I Good like that idea. coat, by the way. Oh, thank you. It's a NASA inspired technology card. I, I feel like I'm in an inferno You got to tell right me now. about this. <laughs> this is an Oros jacket. This is kind of a sidebar, but one of my go-tos, it is all about staying warm when you're in really cold climates. Right, and it's and cold here this morning. I am a big fan of the Oros gear. It has been my go-to in filming in locations around the world. And one time I was filming in negative 20 below in Alaska for six hours for a whole week. This is what kept me warm. So shout out to the Oros. But you know what? Look how good it looks. Right? You think this is kind of like a, a new style jacket. It's fashion and function. It's very much so. Very much so. Katie, great <laughs> seeing you, darling. All right. Great. Thank I had to come you. to her hometown to see her again. Uh, hopefully we'll get you down to Atlanta here anytime. Soon. To it. All right, some good stuff there.